If you've never hooked up to a trailer before, the process might seem a little intimidating, but I'm gonna walk you through the basic steps of hooking up to a trailer so that you can hook up and pull with confidence. And the very first step is to get the tow vehicle positioned underneath the trailer tongue. And you wanna make sure that the trailer tongue is high enough so that the trailer will clear the top of your ball when you make your final approach. If it's not high enough, simply raise the trailer tongue by adjusting the jack. Now, you wanna get your vehicle as close to the center line of the trailer as you can. If you're off center, kinda of make a note of how far off you are so that you can make that adjustment on your final push back. It's also a good idea to kinda of get an idea of how far you are away from the trailer tongue. In this case, I'm about two and a half feet. And the reason why you do that is when you get in the cab of the vehicle, you can leave the door open and pick a reference on the ground, whether that's a rock, a stick, a clump of grass, and you'll get an idea of how far you need to come back before you're lined up with the tongue. Now, if you've got a helper that can stand back here and guide you back and get you directly under the tongue, or if you've got the assistance of a backup camera, then that process will be a lot simpler. Let's go ahead and get this ball lined up with that trailer tongue. All right, looks like we lined up pretty nicely. Now keep in mind, if you've got a single axle trailer that has a light tongue, you may be able to take a hold of the tongue and move it to the left or the right or front to back if you didn't quite line up that perfectly. If you've got a heavier trailer like a tandem axle trailer, then the tongue's gonna to be more resistant to movement and you're gonna to have to be pretty close in how you line the ball up with the coupler. The next step in the coupling process is to go ahead and lower the trailer tongue down on the ball. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're using the right size ball. Don't mix and match these. You want to make sure that your ball coupler size on the trailer and the ball size are the same. Uh, next, we want to make sure that the coupler latch mechanism is fully open. Um, so be sure that it's opened up and that the coupler is free of any type of obstruction. Then, with it properly lined up, we're going to go ahead and lower the trailer tongue by raising the trailer jack. And if you need to move the trailer tongue back and forth to make it line up better, go ahead and do so. There you can see it popped right over the ball. I'm going to go ahead and allow the full weight of the trailer tongue to be down on the ball. There the jack just came off the ground. And you'll know that this is properly seated up inside the coupler if the coupler latch properly closes, just like so. Now if you can't get the latch or the mechanism shut, that usually means that the, the coupler latch mechanism is bound up in there and you're going to need to raise the trailer tongue and take another stab at it as far as getting it aligned. Now once the, the latch is shut, most couplers will have some type of a safety mechanism, whether it's a pin or a clip of some kind. This one has a hole right here. We're going to put this pin through and that's what keeps the coupler from accidentally opening. That's your first point of connection and as long as it's shut and pinned, you know that you're secure. The next step is to go ahead and hook up our safety chains. We're gonna cross the safety chains underneath the tongue and hook those from the back side to the safety chain loop that's provided from the hitch manufacturer, right there. And if you don't have enough clearance between the chain and the ground, you can always take the chain loose, put a couple of twists in there to bring that slack up so that you've got adequate clearance between the, the chain and the roadway. That's your second point of connection and we're good and secure. The last point of connection is our electrical connector. And you wanna make sure that you're using the right connector for the plug that you have on your tow vehicle. In this case, we've got a seven-way round connector on the vehicle and a four-way flat on the trailer. So I'm gonna use this adapter that adapts us from a seven to a four-way to get us adapted down to the correct type of plug. I'm gonna engage our trailer electrical connector properly. And now either by yourself or with the use of a helper, you want to check your left turn, your right turn, and your tail lights. Now if you check your, your turn signals and they're working correctly, you can be assured that your brakes are working okay. Those are the same circuits. So as long as those three items are working all right, you're good to go with lights. Now the only thing left to do is to raise the jack the rest of the way up. And in this case, we've got a swing away jack, so we're going to flip it up and get it all the way up so that we've got our maximum amount of ground clearance. There we go. Pull the pin, raise the jack, give everything a quick final inspection and make sure that everything is shut. Coupler is shut, the safety pin is through, 
chains are connected at both points, electrical plug is connected. With those three points of connection all secure, you're ready to tow your trailer.